Hey everyone, I hope you guys are doing well and having a wonderful Friday so far. I really thought that we would continue story time today with a spring themed book and also a book that shows a lot of love to New York City, which I think we all need to give these days because New York is going through a tough time with this whole pandemic. And I did a book a few years ago, it was early on in my career called When Blue Met Egg. And it's all about a little bird named Blue who lives in New York City. And one day what she thinks is an egg lands in her nest and she sets out to find Egg's mother. And I wrote this book because I used to live in New York City and I felt very small when I lived there and I was so proud of myself towards the end of living there uh, when I felt like I could navigate the city confidently and I knew where I was going. And so today I thought that we would show New York a little bit of love and we would celebrate springtime with When Blue Met Egg. And I wanna give a special shout out to Henry because I know how much he loves this book and I hope you enjoy reading it with your mama today. So this is When Blue Met Egg, written and illustrated by me. When Blue Met Egg by Lindsay Ward. One snowy morning, Blue was awakened by something extraordinary flying through the air. A rather strange egg. My, you're early, how did you get here? asked Blue. Egg was quiet. Well, said Blue, you're awfully cold and wet, Egg. I guess I'll have to watch over you. Blue packed Egg in her bucket and decided to look for Egg's mother. First, they went to the boathouse. Did anyone lose an egg? asked Blue. No missing eggs. Then they checked the terrace fountain, but Egg's mother wasn't there either. Maybe she had some errands to fly, thought Blue. We better look for her. Blue and Egg left the park. Bravely venturing out into the big city, Blue tried to think of all the places she had seen other birds in the city. So she took Egg to some of the street vendors. After searching all the hot dog stands, Blue's belly began to rumble. She found a hot dog to share with Egg, but Egg didn't seem all that hungry. Blue remembered seeing lots of birds atop the city's skyscrapers, but nobody seemed to be looking for a missing egg. Where could Egg's mother be? Blue was starting to panic. She liked spending time with Egg, but she knew Egg's mother would be worried. They just had to keep looking for her. Finally, after trekking all the way downtown, Blue saw a huge flock of birds flying toward the park. Look, Egg, maybe that's your mother up there, cried Blue. We better hurry home. Blue knew they wouldn't make it in time if she tried to carry Egg, so she decided they would do what anyone would, take the subway uptown. Blue and Egg got off at Columbus Circle just in time to see the flock land at the entrance to the park. Do you see her? asked Blue, but Egg said nothing, and none of the other birds seemed all that concerned either. Well, Egg, it looks like it's just you and me, said Blue. So Blue took Egg ice skating and sledding. They even made snowbirds. It was a perfect afternoon. That night, Blue and Egg snuggled up in Blue's nest to brave the cold winter night. The next day, Blue and Egg had so much fun together, they were inseparable. Pretty soon, days turned into weeks and weeks turned into months. January, February, March. And in April, Blue noticed the whole city was slushy. The days were getting warmer and Egg was getting smaller. At first, Blue thought Egg was sick. She tried everything to make Egg feel better, even soup, but that just seemed to make things worse. The next morning, Blue woke up to the first sunshine of the year. She turned over to check on Egg, but Egg was missing. Egg, cried Blue. Blue looked around frantically. Egg must have accidentally rolled away, thought Blue. Slowly, Blue looked over the edge of her nest, terrified at what she might find. 
There at the base of Blue's tree was Egg's bucket, just where Blue had left it, along with a puddle and something pink. Blue rushed down to look more closely. Egg, you've bloomed, exclaimed Blue. I think you're going to love this time of year, Blue told her friend. So did you guys figure out what Egg actually was? If not, you can go back to the beginning of the book and there's a hint on the very first page with what the kids are doing in the background. So I hope you guys enjoyed When Blue Met Egg. And one of the funnest things about this book is that it is set in a real place. It's set in New York City. And that means that on the end papers of the book, you can go in and see all the places that Blue and Egg go because they're real places in New York City. So I hope you enjoyed reading with me today. And I hope you guys are all staying healthy and safe and have a wonderful weekend. Bye.